I basically almost induced, you know, schizo-like symptoms. I'm very lucky that my mind is really strong and um, to describe it, it's like you can't control your thoughts and your thoughts race in a direction, like rapid fire pace. What is up everyone, it's Roos. I hope everyone is doing well. No ASMR spritzer sip for this video. This is a update on the Andrew. It's been three weeks since incident. We, we need we need a board like three weeks since incident. So please go watch the first video where I discuss my horrid experience with the lion's mane in this product. I'm going to go into how I'm feeling, let you guys judge me as far as how far my personality has recovered and go into my suspicion of what caused it completely because I was just speculating last time, honestly, right? I was thinking all over the place on what it could impact it. I was going through exactly where my mind was going to why the issues were happening. I have found my opinion the actual issue of what happened so i'll have andrew throw up a definition of ngf and ngfr so nerve growth factor is one of the major key roles in neuroplasticity now, i ain't no neurochemist neuroscience and to be honest like the amount of shit i've read on it in the past three weeks it, it's just like the brain's a quantum computer that would be virtually impossible to specifically showcase target variables because the cast skating side effects and just the pace at the brain auto regulating i just i don't think neuroscience is really there at all you know i thought it was much farther until i really dug into this so i'm not gonna pretend like i'm some brain expert but ngf and ngf are were impacted by lines man i'll have andrew throw up this study showcasing that ngf and ngfr lines main increases it i've talked about in the past i'm not romanticizing and i'm just being honest like with my bipolar we'll have andrew throw up the study on bipolar individuals with ngf ngfr levels so all right my personality is built on a lower ngf ngfr level and that's how my basic hardwiring is is right it is what it is the superpower of being bipolar comes at a price and basically i can't fuck with that and that's why things impact me differently and that's why i'm much more sensitive than other people basically what the conclusion is is ngf ngfr was switched by the lines made some alteration happened brain freaked out could not sleep at all for basically six to nine days and then as i was staying up every night every night i'm thinking oh my god like all the dopamine all the serotonin all the noradrenaline is going to crash they crashed as the lines main wore off remember this was one single max dosing of this product and as it crashed right the rebound happened of the bipolar attacks meaning i don't want to scare no one but i'll have Andrew showcased the schizophrenia study. So right, it seemed like obviously if you're gonna modulate or upregulate NGF, NGFR, and then the exogenous thing you're adding in, half-life's out stops that's probably going to lead to an ngf ngfr crash or a lower level or, or something along those lines that the brain has to recover and it was trying to down regulate because it was too high to the brain's hardwiring something like that this is just all speculation i basically almost induced you know schizo like symptoms i'm very lucky that my mind is really strong and i'm um, to describe it it's like you can't control your thoughts and your thoughts race in a direction like rapid fire pace and then if someone interrupts you while you're thinking at this unbelievable pace that you're trying to stop the thoughts and then if someone intervenes like my girl like checks me boom extreme agitation and overall doubting the voice in my head it was like fucking hell on earth i don't know how to else explain it obviously my ngf ngfr is gonna recover up but i think you know as far as schizo mine is already lower right mine is already lower it dipped me into that dark realm where <laughs> i got to see the 
see the gates of hell myself. NGF, NGFR came back. Now I'm stuck with taxed adrenals. So adrenals can take anywhere from three to 12 months. Now I'm bipolar workout constantly. So hopefully I can get my serum concentration levels high enough to baseline. Now my baseline was astronomically high, obviously, because that was all those years of lifting and everything in between. The dopamine serotonin was also crashed um, at week three. I have good days and bad days right now. You know, I'm all over the place. I'm gonna be honest here. And, you know, I had like a couple good days of like me not being exhausted. And this is me being on point, right? I discussed everything I was taking, tons of L-tyrosine. I'm eating steaks, turkey all the time, trying to give organic L-tyrosine, L-phenamine I'm taking. And I'm obviously trying to go out in the sun to get my dopamine exposure. I'm trying to do everything I can to get the most authentic dopamine possible to try and make myself feel, you know, somewhat normal again. And you know, with my bipolar, everything's elevated. My personality is based on everything being elevated. Serotonin being elevated, hence why I stayed in a 10 year relationship. Dopamine being elevated as well as noradrenaline. So the dopamine and serotonin, I think, I think like realistically three-ish months of recovery from the damage I did. As far as the noradrenaline, I'm much more concerned because my adrenals get taxed daily with my training. I'm not gonna stop training, otherwise I will 100% go psychotic and bipolar as fuck. Every single time I've gotten injured in some sports injury where I can't train, it gets to a point where I remember when I was little, and I completely got the shoulder ripped out or I got my hand shattered to where I couldn't really exercise at all, right? I need to get that stimulation out of me. And, you know, it ended up with me pacing back and forth in my room when I couldn't train. So it's like I'm in this weird spot where I should give my adrenals a break. Am I going to realistically? No, they're gonna have to play catch up and I'm coming out of the adrenal fatigue. I'll say it like that. How do I know? Because of my sex life. So adrenaline is really important to trap blood in the dick to maintain an erection. How's my sex life been? So I've been obviously hyper bipolar over that because, you know, it was my prior enjoy road to nine, 10 year relationship. I really enjoy my bedroom life with my girl. It's very, 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 very fucking authentic which is something stupid rare in these days. And yeah, I was really aggressive and she knew that I was really gonna need to recover this. So basically noradrenaline level, high serum concentration level of noradrenaline, norepinephrine and all that shit. What is that responsible for in sex? Well, that's responsible for trapping the blood in the penis and to be able to contract the penis. That has been a big problem. Now, how do people with this erectile dysfunction bounce back from this? If you were to go to a doctor, they would give you vasodilator. So basically how I would dose Viagra or Cialis before this incident is I would microdose it because I literally didn't need that much and if I took too much my dick got too fucking hard and it was a painful erection. Now I can't really maintain the erection as the sexual encounter goes on and on because the noradrenaline is not nearly high enough to support the size of my penis. I know TMI, but the size of my penis needs a certain noradrenaline level. I'll have Andrew um, bring up a study on hypersexual statistics on serotonin reuptake inhibitor withdrawal. Again, hypersexual individuals have issues recovering. They say they had a cease and recovery to a certain extent. So I'm obviously game to beat this. I think I can't beat this based on my progress in only three weeks. If I just hopefully aid my adrenals as well as the serotonin and dopamine is coming up normally. You know, I feel like three months, 
be back to normal with that, right? I don't really have much concern. I could say for example, like the noradrenaline traps blood in the penis. The dopamine is like the boom score counter that makes you want to stroke and the sensitivity at which you touch your penis. High amount of dopamine can lead to premature ejaculation, but when you're at the size I'm at, you kind of need a high amount of dopamine to maintain this, you know, above average erection. And it's like more problematic for me than recovery covering again a smaller amount of libido and vigor the serotonin is the response so when i look at my girl the serotonin response is again our love exchanged our brains boom 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 do that on the serotonin thing when we enter each other's auroras and i can definitely feel me being strained i have to like hypercritically remember like the importance of this relationship and overall i think i'm getting the serotonin hits because of my deepness of the love towards her whereas if i was single and i was trying to recover this libido first off like there's if i had to like bang someone else there's nothing there and i'd have to build a serotonin thing and i don't i don't know if it would work i feel like it'd be way harder and i'm just staying that if someone else is suffering on the other side of this camera my erections are around 70 75 percent recovered i'd say with that like sensitivity that vigor that aggression being like above 85 percent now like i said i have a super high baseline to get back to with that and i'm not that concerned i was extremely fucking concerned around week one or two because i mean it wasn't building up i was giving all this l tyrosine daily eating all this shit and really 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 had a strain to get it up and it was definitely an uphill battle and i can see why most people quit out of that and i can see why having the again spiritual healer for when i was having those weird mental symptoms and then having the spiritual healer for obviously garnering my sexual power right i feel like this is hypercritical in my specific recovery aka be way harder to get out of this without a relationship just I just want to say that right now. So if you are in this boat, I definitely recommend dating someone and building something real and authentic to try and dig yourself out of this. I still feel very numb. Oh, I forgot that I'll, I'll add this in. So I was freaking out about the noradrenaline, right? Because <laughs> my, like, it's not going to work unless I get this noradrenaline skyrocketed again. I definitely think it had to do the NGF, NGFR. Um, this is my personality currently. I'm very, very drained, but I feel much better. I'm cracking jokes again. I had Andrew take tabs on me every single day to get a second opinion. And the way we did it was I said, I didn't want to fucking talk about the brain injury. I said, just send me a voice message after you leave. Don't sugarcoat nothing. Tell me if I'm doing bad or good. And you know, he's real with me, had multiple bad days and then seemed like an upswing out of it followed by one crash where i couldn't even make it down into the studio and just had to sleep the whole day right it's important to rest during this but it's important to not accept that new personality i'm stubborn as shit i refuse to lose and i will climb back out of the holes of hell if i have to whereas other people will not rebuild themselves especially again an aggressive male a high masculine energy mail do not fucking take lines man never fucking take it it's stupid it's stupid don't even take even a gram of that shit it is not worth a risk at all it's not and i'm tired of it being downplayed because again i'm ryan russo i got i'm a spoiled ass bitch i got so much help given to me around the world neuroscience majors fucking shout out alec alec was fucking messaging me like 50 messages a day had fucking lucas shout out ergogenic health had all these guys weigh in on ways for me to get out of this all this support from my audience there's definitely someone suffering that's not a spoiled ass bitch like me and i don't want this to happen to anyone else i really don't I won't wish this on anyone, right? It was like, um, I don't, I'm not gonna have Andrew find it, but if you guys watch Naruto, it's one of my favorite animes, but a ninjutsu that one of the Naruto guys had is he would, um, Andrew, he'd look you in the eye and then you'd enter this trip where you're being stabbed by knives, but you're not being hurt. You're being stabbed by knives until you're drained. And then two years in that reality happened 
and then you come back to the battle and you collapse. That's basically how I felt. <laughs> I keep saying it's only been two, three weeks because I feel like it's been like a fucking month and a half, two months in my linear time. Linear time was beyond fucking slow during that shit, right? I was in hell. So that's that's my update. Please comment down below what you think of this personality as I upgraded my version back to where I was. And I hope you guys learned something. I will see you guys in my next video.